type of matches that I haven't seen since I started watching WWE since a year or so is men versus women. We did have something similar with Liv Morgan and Dom versus Rey Mysterio and Lena, but that is the only thing that I have seen. And I really enjoyed it because even though it was an intersex kind of match, they still like the men fought against each other and the women fought against each other. However, I've never seen a man fight against a woman. And these type of matches were a thing before. Now we do have a video that is called Top 10 WWE Men's Finishers on Women. And I don't know if this was supposed to happen or it's accidental that they hit the woman or they did fight against women. I'm pretty excited to see this video. Intergender wrestling is a very rare thing we see in WWE but it's becoming more and yep. more of a thing. But what we're mainly seeing is the women hitting their moves on men. It's very rare oh. we see a man hitting his finishing move or any kind of move on a female. We've seen it a couple times this year but since the beginning of the PGA we haven't seen it too often. Today I'm going to be looking back at 10 times that this did happen. A lot of these were in the modern era, but a couple were back in the day because they were noteworthy. But yeah, let's get right into this video. Oh wow. They I will were be showing worthy. videos okay. of these incidents, so don't you worry. Shay. Starting off, we have Batista hitting the spine buster on Beth Phoenix in a moment you probably didn't even know happened. I loved Glamorella. Glamorella I thought was a great team, a great storyline. I think they played each other off so well. And one time after Batista had beaten Santina Morella in a match, Beth Phoenix got in Batista's face and she oh, he just shit. spine busted she her asked for it, basically. out of nowhere. I, I don't think anyone was expecting it, but he, he just did it. <laughs> Imagine Batista versus Beth Phoenix instead of him facing Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton at WrestleMania 30. Now that would have been a return and a half. Next up, we have Roman Reigns spearing Stephanie McMahon at WrestleMania 32. <gasps> Good God Triple Almighty was WrestleMania mad. 32 a terrible, terrible show. <gasps> What's ironic about the show is that basically all the good stuff was including the women, bar the pre-show match. That match was awful. <laughs> the women's triple threat yeah, was brilliant. Yeah, sometimes women have to save the, the day, one good huh? moment from Roman Reigns versus Triple H was when he accidentally speared Stephanie McMahon. Oh, Roman shit. just doing God's work, doing oh, what probably shit. half of the roster wants shit. to do to Stephanie McMahon. <laughs> just spear her, because okay. why not? <laughs> Number all eight, right, we have CM right. Punk giving the GTS to Beth Phoenix. What's up with Beth Phoenix being someone. hated by the men's roster? What What did she do? What, what did she do? I actually missed this in my last video, but Beth Phoenix entering the Royal Rumble in 2010 was such an awesome moment. Oh she was the second gosh, woman to so ever strong. enter the men's Royal Rumble. No, and this was back she's when the going Royal against... Rumble didn't exist. Okay. It was eight years before no, wait, she's, it would she exist. Can, Beth came out, did the famous kiss to eliminate the great Kali. She started the going out with CM Punk. There's no way she can do him, that. But CM Punk just bonk GTS. I don't know why I said bonk, but bonk. he just hit her with a GTS and just ended <laughs> oh, it. And fetch. rest in peace. Next up, we have John Cena hitting the attitude adjustment on Lita. Oh, Lita. So this is while Cena was feuding with Edge in what was a brilliant phase for Edge's career where he okay. really came into his own as a heel. And obviously at the time, Edge had both an on-screen and an off-screen relationship with, with Lita. Lita. This led to a match between John Cena and Lita taking <laughs> place Hardy with the twist that Cena would have one arm tied behind his back. Wow, but bro, let me tell you that Cena up. does not give a crap because he just straight hit her with the attitude adjustment anyway and oh. won the match in very quick fashion. Unlucky. Good good luck next time, Lita. <laughs> next up, we have Kurt Angle good luck locking next the time. ankle lock on Stephanie McMahon. Again? WrestleMania 34 Stephanie. was a pretty okay <laughs> show, but what was match of the night was actually She's Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey worker. against Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, a match that nobody was really expecting to steal the show like it did. But it did because of many moments, many funny moments and told an amazing story. And one amazing moment was when Kurt Angle finally got his comeuppance on Stephanie McMahon after all the torment she's caused him through his time as Raw General Manager. He just got her in the oh. ankle lock and the crowd popped so ah. hard for it. Again, just doing Ouch. God's work, following the footsteps of our great Lord and Savior, <laughs> Roman Reigns, and just <laughs> annihilating oh Stephanie McMahon God. after all the trouble she's caused on TV. Oh, she was causing Next trouble. up, we have Baron Corbin hitting about. the end of days <gasps> on Becky Lynch. Stephanie. Now, this was the uh, most Stephanie. recent one to happen. There's still a lot of buzz surrounding this moment. And, of course, there is. Because, my God, what a moment it truly was. In one of the, the most unexpected thing. moments of that match, which, again, was actually a pretty good match, which we weren't expecting. Of course, I'm talking about Baron and Lacey against Seth 
and Becky at Extreme Rules in the winner takes all match. The one twist of this match was that it was Extreme Rules, meaning that it was completely okay for a man to do his move on a woman. Typically that wouldn't be okay in a non-mixed tag match, but for this oh. one it was. And Baron Corbin okay. took full advantage of that, when out of nowhere he just decided he would hit an end of days on Becky Lynch. To an insane pop from Whoa. the crowd, and an insane pop on Twitter, and an insane pop in my YouTube views when I made a video about it. Cha-ching. Next up we have Cha-ching. Stone Cold hitting the stunner on Linda McMahon. <laughs> What a oh, sentence. Oh, no. It was an episode of the Raw Homecoming on the 10th of the March, 2005, or the 3rd of October. I'm not sure because of how dates are formatted. But Stone Cold came out. This is after he'd retired, and he just decided to hit a stunner on every single McMahon. Vince, he got one. Shane, he got one. Stephanie, she got one too, which is worth oh, mentioning. Oh, okay. Again, <laughs> following Stephanie. the great footsteps of Kurt Angle <laughs> and Roman Reigns. But... The one oh we weren't expecting was when Linda McMahon came out, he started raising her arm around, and it just seemed like he wasn't actually going to do it, and why would we expect him to do it? But yeah. he he just did. He just hit her oh with a stunner. Oh my god! And it was the worst sell of a stunner of all time, yeah, probably. Yeah, that looks really bad. And then number three, two, and one That's are all the same, because they're all the moves that Ziggler, Rey Mysterio, and Randy Orton did to Nia Jax in what has probably been my I mean, favourite moment of 2019 so far it, right? when Nia Jax entered the Men's Royal Rumble after attacking R-Truth. Since the inception of the Women's Royal Rumble, it was most likely predicted that no woman would ever enter the Men's Royal Rumble again, but lo and behold, Nia Jax broke that mould and she did just that. She's the first them. person to that, ever yeah. enter both and also the first person to ever compete in two Royal Rumble matches in the same night. Or the same year for that matter, even, I, I believe. Oh no, that Greatest Royal Rumble. My bad. She came out, started dominating everyone. She attacked our truth first, destroyed him, destroyed Ziggler, destroyed Andrade, <gasps> destroyed Ray, destroyed Orton, eliminated no Mustafa Ali. Uh, but then she got absolutely ganged up on when Ziggler hit her with a super kick. Rey Mysterio then hit her with a 619. Oh my god. And just when we thought Gang? it was going to be over. We all knew it was coming. It was silent. She was standing in the middle of the ring. Orton was behind her. R-K-O. Honestly, I will never, ever forget this moment. What Whoa. a moment it was. Nia Jax many guys was had so to, like, actually to group up to get her Rumble. down? When Ziggler hit her with the super Crazy. kick, that was shocking in itself. Because when previous women had entered the Rumble match like Karma, she didn't take any moves. She just made some offense and got thrown over. Whereas Ziggler super kicked her, full contact, finishing move. Then Rey Mysterio, even more shocking, just 619'd her. And then the one that, you know, we weren't expecting it at first, but when okay, the two moves were hit, we're like, okay, we've got to finish this combo. Randy Orton, RKO. My oh my, what, what an insane moment. Wrestling <laughs> in 2019 is a really crazy thing, isn't it? So yeah, guys, that's a list. Oh, if that's you did it? enjoy the smile like button, let me know what video you'd like to see me do next. And comment down below what your favorite moment out of these... Uh, these ones was and if there was what, anything that I missed out that you can remember None of that. there's loads of stuff from live events that I want to do I think the video. Naya thing would be my favorite because she actually did beat the guy first like the guys and they had to gang up literally to destroy her showing how fierce and strong she is these other ones like what was the point drama literally and like poor stephanie <laughs> like i need to hate her to be happy with the fact that they are all using their finishers on her but at the moment i don't know enough about her to know that but that is it guys for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more let me know in the comments what else would you like me to react to on this channel also check out my patreon for more wwe reactions smackdown as well as raw recaps q a podcast and movie wwe movie reactions so a lot more wwe content on my patreon patreon.com slash support bunny i will leave a link in the description down below thanks so much for watching have a wonderful day and see you soon with a brand new video bye